Kitui waipa. Waipa. Makueni waipa. Kamba political leaders and supporters of Waipa Party convened in Tala, Machakos County, to affirm their position and support for Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka. The meeting coming amid perceived rebellion from the three governors in the region who have in recent days united in a political bid to upset the status quo, accusing Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka of inciting MCAs against them. Look at this, Mwishimua Ndoto, Kitui Water Project. From Masinga to Kitui, funded by the Austrians, I pushed them. Who doesn't know? Even before Kibaki left, we say it and kind of nikalonji kibwezi, kibwezi, kitui, motomo, sueni role. Nani ajui hiyo? The three governors, namely Charity Ngilu, Alfred Motua, and Kivuda Kibwana, were visibly absent at the meeting, in which Kalonzo extended to them an olive branch, even as he defended his development record in the region. At the same time, he dismissed claims he was inciting MCAs against the governors. Other leaders at the meeting pushed for the region's unity to have a fighting chance in the national politics. The people in this region understand the Kalonzo Musioka to be our leader. And this is because he united this community from 2007, 2013, 2017 behind him fully. And so we, we, we don't really want uh, people with their own ambition, ambitions after 2022 to come and derail our people. Our ambao wa governor wanatofauti zao ndogo ndogo kule bungeni kwao. Lakini wanataka kuingiza jina la Kalonzo pale, lakini Kalonzo ayupo pale. Wanashinda zao za ki administration, wakitofautiana na assemblies sababu ya... The climax of Kamba Leaders' Convention is the resolution to unite behind Kalonzo Musyoka in his bid to succeed President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2022. The Waipa Party leader, however, feels there is need to change the constitution before the next general elections. We had difficulty. Difficulty. Kwa sababu ya... Issues ya kilo wakati kampeni kipika ni vita. Ni vita. But now we have found a solution. And the solution is our preparedness to amend our constitution. And as the sun set, ending what they dubbed as Komarok 2 declaration, the message from the meeting was one. Kalonzo Musyoka remains the de facto political kingpin of the region and the three governors we are attempting to blame the Waipa leader for their woes. I'm here suggesting kwamba tuungane with other communities to msaidia ndugu huru muigai Kenyatta. Kama muigai huru Kenyatta, huru Kenyatta atasema after the new constitution tumeiunda. Na aseme ndugu Kalonzo mi nataka kuendelea mbele. Nita muambia nita kusupport. I said it. But... Kalonzo Musioka said he joined President Uru Kenyatta to support fight against corruption. Further, he committed to seek the top seat even as he remained open to negotiations with like-minded parties. The meeting also resolved to shelve political campaigns and focus on service delivery. Kevin Washira, Channel News.